Guys of Reddit, what is something you learned about girls after getting into a relationship? Hair. It gets fucking everywhere. By everywhere you mean in my ass crack and wrapped around my junk. You get through four times as much bathroom tissue. I commented this in a post yesterday but it absolutely applies to this too. Me too, not like a full shower, just quick behold shower. Before I lived with my partner I went through seven rolls of a 12 pack in two years. Now that's like two weeks maybe? I learned she's a buncher for both applications. Absolute heathen. Seven rolls in two years? Did you never shit at your house? You have to teach someone how to be a good lover to you. People don't magically know how to meet your needs. And they certainly can't read your mind. Well, FRKN said, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, and people should realize that more. You don't have enough hangers. This one got me lol. I had a cloth bag absolutely full of hangers laying my dresser for years. A fuckton of them just accumulated over time, I guess. Anyway, I had planned to eventually throw them out but forgot about them. Fast forward to about a month ago, when my girlfriend is moving in. It took time for me to realize the situation when she said, I'm gonna need more hangers. The amount of hair they shed is unreal. Not sure how they still have a full body of hair on their head after a week. You've gotta brush them. No joke, my grandpa used to brush my grandma's head every night. She'd just lay her head in his lap and he'd brush away really slow and gentle while they watched their nightly TV shows. When he passed she said that seeing her hair brush there and knowing that he'd never use it again was when how much his death really hit her. How lonely she'd be and how much she'd never be the same. I've done it a few times for her over the years when I visit but it just isn't the same. She's basically done after five minutes and sits up where before it'd be like a solid hour minimum with my grandpa. I picked that little expression up and have done it for a few girlfriends over the years and they fucking loved it. Just lay there with a blanket and watch Netflix while I brush their hair and kinda pet or just gently rub their scalp. It helped the T.O.N. with the amount of hair that got elsewhere in the house. Shower especially. I know it was meant more like a joke but it's actually a really useful thing and a huge bond building thing too. I really suggest people try it. It truly does make the relationship feel more connected in my opinion. What a heartwarming and heartbreaking story. Thank you for sharing. Periods really fucking suck. You ain't lying. Spend one four of your life trying to save yourself from bleeding and cramping to death to have some old man politician tell you what you can and can't do with your body. Meanwhile, they have never had to deal with a single cycle. And this is when you don't have the chance to have endometriosis and still need the permissions of your husband to have an hysterectomy FS. Agreed. I basically turn into a snack courier, an occasional hug pillow during her time. Her hair somehow always ends up in between my butt crack. How? She put it there, watch out. You know what's weird? I always thought that it was a long hair versus short hair thing. When I started dating my husband his hair was short, mine was shoulder length. But now we both have long hair. His is dark brown, nearly black, curly and shoulder length. Mine is dark blonde, pin straight and butt length. It's very easy to tell the hairs apart. I've never had one of his hairs in my butt crack. Ever. But he's had several of mine. It's a conspiracy, I tell you. Makeup is expensive as fuck. What might be a really small thing for me to give her, a gesture, compliment, smile, etc., can mean a whole lot to her. This is so underrated. I'm in a new relationship and I know my boyfriend cares for me in his own way but I would give anything for a few compliments here and there. Tell them that. Not that you want one right now, but that you appreciate hearing his feelings about you here and there. Communication is the only way to a positive path. They shower with lava. At least that's what the water temperature felt like. When I shower with my husband it feels like an ice bath. That morning routine ain't no joke. Right. She gets up at 4.30 to leave at 6.10. I get up at 5.20 to leave at 5.30. My first relationship I always wondered why my girlfriend would rant at me about things like horrible co-workers, stress dealing with projects etc. and then get mad at me when I tried to talk through the problems, break them down, and help come up with workable solutions. My second relationship I realized when women do this, they just want to rant and have a hug at the end. 
They don't want your advice. They don't want a calm, rational discussion about what they can do to make a situation better. Don't pour kerosene on that fire. Just let it burn out. I think women are just raised in an environment that allows them to express themselves openly about things like that. 99 100 times they have already thought of the same solution you are saying so it comes off condescending. Men are told to keep things and so when we express ourselves like that it is almost always for an answer. Just different levels of comfort for discussing issues that don't always jive together. Ron Swanson, you've fallen into a classic trap, Christopher, trying to fix a woman's problems instead of just listening to what they are. Tom Haverford, hey man, if and needs Tylenol, she can get it herself. What she needs from you is to just look her in the eyes, nod your head, and say those two magic words. Donna Meagle, that sucks. Chris Treger, that sucks. Tom Haverford, I've spent my entire life reading instructional books about relationships in order to trick women into liking me. When it tells you what's bothering her, don't try to fix it. Just say, damn, that sucks. The statement, just do what you want, no matter the tone, means you fucked up. As a woman reading through these comments, this is by far the most valuable information. Other death threats are, fine, have it your way, and, are you sure you want to do this? They tell you to put the seat down on the toilet because they legit fall in if they don't notice. A good hug when, nothing, is wrong works wonders. That my hoodies are actually her hoodies. An issue argument is not a win-lose situation every time. Take time to compromise and learn from each other instead. You have to look at it like it's a democracy. You both have different opinions, but you're both trying to figure out how to accomplish some goal for the Republic. Actually, the most valuable thing I've learned is be honest. If I'm going to the pub and know I'll be back late, just be straight up and tell it like it is. Most girls like honesty. Seems fairly obvious, doesn't it? The relationship I'm in now has been by far the best because I don't try to play games which has got me into trouble in the past. Honesty and transparency. It's the key. I've tried explaining this to so many guys. Like dude your wife is calling you constantly because it's midnight and you told her you'd be home by nine. For all she knows you've been in accident and are lying dead in a ditch somewhere. She's calling BC she loves you and she's worried about you. Just tell her you'll be out with the boys all night and be done with it. I'm female, but my male partner had no idea that women can hold in our periods like we hold in pee. I found this out when he was telling me about a girl in sixth grade who got her period in class, and he couldn't believe how she just let it all out all over, as if she peed in her pants, but it was period blood. I had to explain to him how it works, but I guess how would he have known? I never thought about it. That they are very capable of solving their emotional problems themselves. Sometimes they just need someone who listens to their story without them saying what's right or wrong. This is very true. Nine, ten times I just need to vent and then I'm completely over the problem and can move on like nothing happened immediately after. They fart just as much as guys do. With my first serious girlfriend after college, I learned that I could have a relationship with open and honest communication owning our emotional reactions, not being manipulative, and putting ourselves in our partner's shoes. In my next relationship, I learned that not every partner will do that. It really prepared me for meeting my now wife, because I could expect that and communicate that expectation to her early on, which laid the foundation for a healthy and communicative relationship. I learned the most after living with a girl. I started to notice dust and tiny things that just went under my radar. I started taking better care of my skin and teeth after seeing their routine. I appreciated better kitchen appliances. Mostly their ability to turn a living space into something warm and welcoming. A woman's touch is really something special. Communication is the key to everything. Seriously, if there's an unanswered question, fucking mention it and get the answer. Neither men nor women are mind readers. So many things can be avoided by just talking with the other one in the relationship. Always assume ignorance over malice. Chances are whatever happened it's because of assumptions made and not because one was trying to actively hurt annoy the other. The only dumb question is the one you don't ask. That birth control messes with their hormones a lot. Birth control can literally change a person. It's fucked. My wife was on BC from the age of 16, never once stopped until her 32nd birthday. I suddenly met a completely different person. 
Better or worse? Better. Suddenly laughing at childish things more so than she would do, every moment of the day there was an extra spring in her step. Little things were water off a duck's back whereas before they were catastrophes. Periods are longer than twenty-four hours. Not sure why I thought they were shorter. Guess I was never properly taught about them before my first relationship. Daily sunscreen, lotion your whole body in the morning. I used to be firmly in tan camp ID have a heavy bronze from like May till October but my girlfriend, now wife, got me fully on board with religious sunscreening any time I'm going to be outside. Sure, I may look like a ghost now, but I'm gonna look like a young ghost. Until I actually lived with my partner it was hard to comprehend just how often a period comes, how long it lasts, and how much it can affect your day to day. What a pain in the ass. I do not envy the ladies. That periods are a fucking nightmare that we should be grateful we never have to experience, and sympathetic to those who have to suffer them regularly. Light or heavy they're a frigging beast to deal with while living a normal day-to-day -day life. They don't want solutions, they want empathy, and for you to listen. Periods suck. Bras suck. Shaving suck. Women don't get enough pockets on their clothing, and they appreciate compliments a lot on things they may be insecure about, like stretch marks or thighs. What is something you learned about girls after getting into a relationship? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.